Good day, Farouk here at Direct Talk, coming at you with another FE exam study tip. So today I was having a discussion with a student regarding his FE exam prep, and he's currently enrolled in the Direct Talk course. So he's kickstarting his FE exam prep, and a little background knowledge about him. So he's out of school over 15 years, works full time, and he's actually failed this exam multiple times. But this is not letting him stop because he knows he has to get this EIT. It's going to benefit him personally and it's going to be a huge boost for his career. So he's serious about it and he knows this is new. Every failure he had, he had to go through and this is going to be a new opportunity. He's going to start fresh and he's going to rely on what he learned from all these mistakes to keep going, to keep going with his FE exam prep. Now, to get to the point here that he's covering at this time the first section for the civil FE exam, which is going to be analytic geometry. And we know this covers, let's say, finding areas, Pythagorean theorem, law of sines, law of cosines, all of that stuff. And this stuff is going to be important. It's crucial skills that we have to master before moving to the next section. So now his question for me was, I want to move on to the next section. What do you recommend I do before moving on to single variable calculus? So he wants to finish analytic geometry and in November, he wants to go to single variable calculus. So now I had to make an assessment. I was like, okay, let me see some of your work. How do you feel with that? And we've been exchanging emails and looking at his questions and the questions he's asking and also giving him and supplying him with additional questions. So we were looking at that. And we noticed one big issue. He's making silly mistakes. Silly mistakes, little errors, and not knowing, let's say, how to manipulate an equation, or let's say not knowing his algebra, not knowing the trig functions, not knowing the Pythagorean theorem. Little stuff, but very, very important stuff, fundamental stuff that he needs to absolutely master before moving on to the next section. So I had to be straight up with him. I told him, we're not moving on into the next section. We're not moving on into single variable calculus unless we know why we're making silly mistakes in analytic geometry. And also we have to master this analytic geometry section because we know this stuff is fundamental. And this is the fundamentals of engineering exam. Analytic geometry has a lot of the fundamental equations, a lot of the fundamental concepts we need to know before moving on to the next section. So we have to break this down. So what's happening? Why is he making these silly mistakes? Is he reading a problem statement too fast? I know for me, sometimes I forget to write variables. Let's say I go too fast, I'm in a rush, and that usually makes me make silly mistakes. I, sometimes I even forget a number, a digit, and that just messes up the whole solution. Is that what's happening? Or is he not reading that problem statement slow and breaking it down? and writing down what he's given in that problem statement, what's happening? Why are these silly mistakes happening? And the tip I have is keep a note log of these silly mistakes. So you wanna keep a note log and you wanna go back and try to avoid them. So that's that part. And then most importantly, we have the knowledge. And something we call is the gaps of knowledge that we need to literally close before moving on to the next section. So we have these gaps of knowledge that he needs to work on. Namely, in his case, let's say it's manipulating algebra equations, manipulating an equation, isolating a variable. Then when we have that variable, we can solve by using the calculator. And at the same time, he was making little errors with the calculator. He hasn't used it in so long, and that was a skill he's currently building. Slowly and gradually, he's building that as well. And also knowing how to apply trig functions, how to apply the Pythagorean theorem. When should we use radian versus degree mode? Stuff like that. That's fundamental stuff that he has to master. And this is gaps of knowledge or prior knowledge that he has to know because it's fundamental before moving on to the next section. This is it. This is the FE exam study tip that I have for you today.
Again, do not discount the importance of knowing these fundamental sections, these fundamental concepts before moving on to the next section. Because if you have these down and if you're confident conceptually with these fundamental ideas, fundamental concepts, fundamental equations, it's just gonna make your learning a lot more smoother as you get into those discipline specific FE exam sections. So now keep chugging through these practice problems. Don't forget to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.